Dr. Tan Cheng Bok brought the shutters down on Ama King Clinic, which he has run for 41 years on Thursday. The 2011 presidential candidate started the clinic in 1971, first in the Ama King village along Lim Chu Kang Road, before moving to Tai Huai and then Jurong West due to a massive resettlement exercise in the late 1980s. <laughs> Dr. Tan announced the closure of his clinic and shared four memories of his village practice on his Facebook page on Wednesday night. The MP for Ayaraja SMC from 1980 to 2006 said the post has got more than 100,000 views and more than 12,000 likes in less than a day. So why did you choose to close the clinic you know, at this point in time? Well, I think it's the lease period is up. At least the owner don't want to renew the lease. So, well, we have to go. You've been a patient of Dr. Tan since day one of this clinic? Yeah, from day one until today, the last day. Until my cut becomes so thick. <laughs> <laughs> Now that the clinic is going to close, yeah. do you feel like you are at a loss? Of course, that's why I said I will follow him where he's going. <laughs> To ensure that his long-time patients are not left behind, the 72-year-old will continue practicing at the nearby Jurong West Corporation Clinic twice a week, starting from December 3rd. I will uh, see all my old patients. I'm not going to see new patients. And I'm just keeping track of all these people. And then slowly, I will encourage them to go and see the other doctor who is my cousin. Uh, I think he's better than me. You all know, you don't know yet. <laughs> uh, then then uh, that's continuity. Of course, I cannot leave them hanging, you see. What about the rest of the time? Oh, What are you going to do? I've got plenty of things to do. You know, I've got so many things to do. Yeah, and another grandchild, right? Oh, Recently. Uh, Bethany, okay. that's right, you have seen. Dr. Tan was accompanied by his 2011 presidential campaign team on his last visit to Amar King Clinic. One of them, 61-year-old Madam Via Sarah, was in fact a patient with Dr. Tan since she was a student at Amar King Primary School, which was then run by G.D. Balakrishnan, the father of Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan. Sometimes we have mosquito bites, uh, we'll go to him. Uh, Does he give an MC for mosquito bites? Oh, yes, yes, that time, you know, once a mosquito bites us, then we got fever and we have iguana bites, the snake bites, all sorts of problems, including personal problems. Which school they should go to, which secondary school they should uh, choose and so on. It's a rural environment, all just laterite roads, attap huts. There are a lot of wells, there are a lot of pigs. Uh, Sty, there's a lot of. It's a bit. Un, it's not very clean now. And I remember one boy once he cycled to my clinic. Wow, he was uh, so worried. He said, "Doc, please, you must come. There are two girls drowning in the in a well." I was shocked when I went there. You know, we pull out one, but the other one we couldn't save. But this is the type of ambience environment. Many of Dr. Tan's patients back then were farmers who couldn't afford to pay for his services. Many paid him in kind with poultry and eggs, for example. Some paid him years later when the children grew up and landed well-paying jobs. Was it challenging to have to keep the clinic going when so many of your patients back then couldn't afford the bill? No, 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 no. Because my lifestyle is so simple. If I have opted to build a big house, it's different. But we never, I never had a big house until later on in life when I was better. But times have changed already. They are also doing very well. Many of my patients are very good. They are doing very well. Sometimes I was I, I quite surprised. You know, once upon a time, I, I, I can't imagine that they will come to this uh, level of success. You must remember there was a big resettlement exercise that I wrote in my Facebook. And this big resettlement exercise really traumatized them. So, so huge that you find that families all get disbanded. And, uh, and it's a quite a sorrowful state to see all, all of us all going different ways. And what would Dr. Tan's advice to younger doctors be? Everybody thinks doctors make money. But I think the most happy part of a doctor's life is to see your patients cured after they go through a bad spell. And that is the joy. Always give your best to the patient.